Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Blackwell and today I'm going to be sharing with you my February TBR. So this is going to be every book that I want to read in February. I am not going to lie. I am in a bit of a reading slump and my anxiety has just been so high recently that I've been concentrating on other hobbies, other activities that often tend to alleviate some of that anxiety. Cooking, gardening, just different things I have going around and I'm just trying a few different things but yeah my anxiety has been kind of through the roof recently and I'm trying to get a handle on that. So I know a lot of the people in the bookish community are a lot of people that are very aware of different mental health issues. I, I know I have a lot of friends that have mental health issues that they're very open about. And so I don't want to like come on here and just act like everything's fine. I want to be open about it. But at the same time, I'm not posting as much as I usually do. And that's just the fact of the thing right now. Um, hopefully eventually I'll get back on a regular two to three posting a week schedule. But right now I'm just doing what I can and I'm trying not to be too hard on myself about it. So if you like this video, I'd really appreciate if you click the like button and comment down below. Let me know what you are planning to read in February. I am not playing my TBR game. I uh, usually play once upon a TBR, but given my current state of mind, I just wanted to go through a few books that I think I might pick up in February, um, but not put too much pressure on myself. Not that I usually put a lot of pressure on myself about my TBR game, but I do prefer to read at least 50% of the books that I put on that TBR. So I really just wanted to keep things kind of free flowing and easy and non-stressful this month. So. I can also have the time to concentrate on my spirituality, my gardening, my cooking, things around the house, making sure I can kind of tie up any loose ends that could be adding to my anxiety, just giving myself basically more free time. So first book that I'm definitely going to be reading in the month of February is Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. This is the second book in the From Blood and Ash series. I'm doing a read along with Jess from Honest Fiction, Isa from Fun Fantasy Books, and Tori from Novel Life. And we will be reading the second book in February and doing our live show on March 4th for this. And I think that's at either two or three. I'm not sure the exact time. I will have that posted below. But uh, that will be, I believe, on Tori's channel. So I'm looking forward to reading this. I am currently rereading From Blood and Ash, the first book in this series, and I'm enjoying my reread. And we will be discussing the first book from Blood and Ash on February 4th. So that's coming up in less than a week. And I hope to see you guys there on Jess's channel. I'll also have that linked down below. So you will have the information just for the upcoming live shows for this read along if you do want to read along with us. This is a fantasy romance series that follows Poppy, who is the maiden. And she is not supposed to be seen or touched until she ascends um whatever that means you're not really supposed to fully know what that means and um she basically has a little bit of a wild side she develops a romance um with her bodyguard and adventure ensues um i can't really go into much more than that because i do feel like this series is much better if you go into it more on the blind side uh, but I am enjoying it a lot. I gave the first book four stars and I'm really enjoying my reread as well. Given how I'm currently feeling, I also just want to make sure I spend time on some more cozy reads, if that makes sense. Less stressful, less epic, less, um, less emotionally impactful, unless it's more like on a positive side, right? So I have some cozies here that I am uh, hoping to get to in February. The first is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. This is a witchy cozy that I have heard is almost like a cross between Practical Magic and um, The House in the Cerulean Sea. Now, I really enjoyed The House in the Cerulean Sea, um, but I did not actually finish it. And that is actually another book that will be coming up here in a moment. But 
yeah, it was just like a case of like the wrong time for me when I was reading that. So I do want to pick that back up and finish it. But this is on the list. I love witchy books of cozy mysteries. So I'm hoping this will give me a nice cozy fantasy feel. This book was gifted to me by my friend Michelle. Um, and so thank you so much, Michelle, for gifting this to me. Her channel will be linked down below in the description. All I know about this is it's about a witch who basically... Um, signs up through an ad to become almost like a witch nanny of some sort for these other little witches. And at the house there's this librarian dude and there might be like a romance between them. I don't know. It's very, the synopsis doesn't really give too much away, um, but it is set in England and I love a good English cozy, especially if it involves witches. Another uh, British cozy is A Curious Beginning. And this is the first book in the Veronica Speedwell cozy mystery series. This is a gas lamp um, cozy mystery set in 1887 in London. And we follow Veronica Speedwell and she gets caught up in mysteries, I guess. I don't know. It's a cozy mystery series. I hear it's really good and I like the idea of there being a little bit of a romance involved as well. And I like the idea of the setting. And I've heard nothing but really great things about this series. And also, like I said, I would also like to finish The House on the Cerulean Sea. This follows Linus, whose job is to basically be a, a um, investigator who checks up on orphanages to make sure they're up to snuff and up to par. And um, he is sent to check on this house of extremely gifted and dangerous children. And these children um, are a lot more than what he bargained for. And it's a very cozy book. It's really sweet. When I first picked it up, it just wasn't the first it wasn't the right time for me to do so. Um, I wasn't expecting what I got out of it and now I have like changed my expectations and now I know what I'm getting into. So I've definitely changed my expectations and I'm in the mood for cozies at this point. So I think this is gonna be perfect for me to go ahead. I'll either restart this book or I will um, just pick up where I left off. I'm not sure, we'll have to see how much I remember. So I'd also like to continue on with the Wayward Children series. This is the second book um, in that series, Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean McGuire. And I really enjoyed the first book in this series, Every Heart a Doorway. It follows this home for children who have gone through secret portals, secret passageways into other worlds, then returned from those worlds, and they cannot quite adjust to the society as it is now. They want to go back and they just don't know how to adjust to being back in the real world. And I believe that every other book in this series actually takes place in one of those worlds. So almost like if you go into Wonderland or Narnia or something like that. So I think this one actually takes place in one of those other worlds and I'm looking forward to it a lot. Um, I really like the first one. Like I said, I believe I gave it five stars. I have two books left here on my um, list of books that I want to possibly pick up in February. The first I have Belladonna by Adeline Grace and this is a YA fantasy romance that's supposed to have gothic vibes and that definitely interests me i'll be honest it's like the reels on instagram that got me obsessed with this that and there's a lot of booktubers who have really enjoyed this book as well including raven haired reader and hannah's recent reads um and i would really like to pick it up i have heard wonderful things and this was also a gift from just from honest fiction um and i really appreciate that the um cover like the actual naked hardback of this book is gorgeous. Um, and I think it'll be nice, simple, and like not a stressful read. Um, and I think it might be a good time for me to dive into a YA right now um, because they are easier reads. Plus this is a romance, a little bit gothic, and I think it's gonna be good. And finally, I did wanna try like a horror or thriller this month. Oftentimes those do help get my interest back into reading. Um, so I thought a really good option for me this month would be Near the Bone by Christina Henry um, because this is like super wintry and it takes place in an isolated setting, which I really enjoy. 
and it says a woman trapped on a mountain attempts to survive more than one kind of monster in a dread induced horror novel from Christina Henry and also it looks like there's basically an abusive relationship her husband is abusive and yet there's also this intense fear of what could be lurking out in the wilderness as well some sort of horrific creature possibly and um so I think this could be a really good one. I've actually heard nothing but amazing things about this book. And I really, really like the cover as well. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the books that I am planning to pick up or looking to possibly pick up in the month of February. Um, I'm also currently reading The Wolf of Orin Yarrow for my Femmes of Fixionados book club. We will have that live show on the evening of the 4th of February and so I think that's gonna be at 7 p.m. Eastern time and I believe that's gonna be on Maria Might Read That channel. I will have that linked down below and so um, I'm currently reading that and I'm also like I said reading from Blood and Ash the first book in that series and um, so once I'm done with those I'll pick up one of these and continue on from there and hopefully I get at least a few books read in February. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please stay tuned. I will be posting more content. It's just gonna be a little bit before it gets up as regular and often as I was posting there for a good long while um, but I will still be continuing to post about uh, the books I'm reading books that I have enjoyed, um, especially when it comes to fantasy and romance. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and comment down below and let me know what you are planning to read in the month of February. All of my social media is linked down below in the description if you want to follow me on Goodreads Instagram or Twitter. Until next time, fellow readers, keep reading and living your best life. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away